today we're going to learn about numerators and denominators. Now this circle I have here is one whole. I've shaded one, two, three out of four equal parts. I've shaded three fourths. Now I'm going to try to write that. So here I'm going to put three at the top because I know I've shaded three parts. And I'm going to put a four at the bottom because there's four equal parts. Now the top number tells us how many parts we've shaded and the bottom number tells us how many equal parts there are in the whole. So with this circle, I've shaded three fourths. Now let's have a look at this square I have. This square is one whole. I've shaded one, two out of three equal parts. I've shaded two thirds. Now when I write that, I'm going to put a two at the top because I know I've shaded two parts and three at the bottom because I know there's three equal parts in total. The top number tells us how many parts we've shaded, which is called the numerator. And the bottom number tells us how many parts there are all together, which is called the denominator. Let's have a go at one more. Now here I have a rectangle, and this rectangle is one whole. I've shaded one, two, three, four, five out of eight equal parts. I've shaded five eighths. Now I'm gonna, in my top where my numerator is, it's gonna be five because I know I've shaded five parts and my denominator is going to be eight because I know there's a total of eight equal parts in this whole. I've shaded five eighths. My challenge to you is to fold a piece of paper like this into equal parts and to shade this fraction. Thanks.